Welcome to Three for the Road RV. I'm Lee. I'm Wally. Hello roadies, today is laundry day and so I thought I would catch you up on what we are all doing. We spent the winter in Mesa, Arizona after our California contract fell through. It was pretty ridiculous. They waited until we were three days out from arriving out there when they called us and said that the contract was no longer valid and we did not have a job. And so we ended up staying in Mesa for the winter for about six months, which actually turned out great. Arizona winters are fabulous, so that wasn't so bad. Wally's brother had full hookups in his yard and allowed us to stay. And because it was such um, late notice, I ended up going and working the seasonal um, work job at Target, which is like four blocks away from his brother's house. So that worked out perfect. And Wally just stayed home with Summer. And so that's what happened for us for the winter. But now we are officially in Cody, Wyoming for our summer job. We are at the Buffalo Bill Village and Resort that consists of the Holiday Inn and the Comfort Inn in town. And they also have some rustic cabins that you can rent as well. I am doing the night shift at the gift shop, which is a really fun shop to be in. And I will be showing pictures of that soon, of what it all entails. It's anything from the turquoise jewelry to furniture to children's stuffed animals and toys to Western wear. It's just a really fun store. And then we also hold what they call like a little reception for the tour buses that come in for the hotels and cabins. Um, every evening we serve just like little snacky foods of the stuff that we sell in the store. Like um, dips for chips or crackers and that kind of thing. And so I will also be doing a review of that brand that we sell because the dips are very tasty. So Wally is doing the housekeeping in the Holiday Inn. And basically all he is doing is stripping the beds and cleaning up the towels and taking them down to the laundry so the regular housekeeping staff can come in and scrub and remake the beds and whatnot. So he comes home totally exhausted because he can be doing anywhere from oh, 50 to 100 rooms a day for his shift. And that's only like a four or five hour shift that he does. My shift consists of eight hours at night. So that's where we are, it's Cody, Wyoming. And we are actually um, having some fun here in the little town. It's only, it consists of 10,000 people, but they basically call it the gateway to Yellowstone in a lot of ways, because the tour buses and stuff will come and stay the night here and then go spend the day in Yellowstone and come back because we're about 52 miles away from the East Gate. And so they go see Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone's right there by them. And Jackson Hole is right there. So it's just a really fun place for people to stop. And we have our own um, touristy type stuff here for people to do. There's um, the river rafting companies, there's like three different companies in town that do that. They have um, tours around the city that talk about the history of Buffalo Bill Cody and his Wild West shows and stuff like that. They take you out to see the original town set up where Buffalo Bill wanted the town first built. However, there was a water issue and so they had to move further along down the river to get closer to the water. The famous Irma Hotel that he built for his youngest daughter Irma is still standing and it is still a hotel and it is a restaurant and bar and it has a gift shop in it and it is really fun. They say it's haunted. Some people believe it. I'm not sure if I believe in that kind of stuff but you know to each their own. 
it's just really fun inside to look at and the food was really good we ate there yesterday and even summer ate her entire plate of food and that usually doesn't happen she's usually taking something home and so we plan on being here until October we started our job just last week on May 6th yes it was the 6th and we are here till October 5th so if you want to stop in and say hi to us I'm in the evenings and it would just be fabulous to see any of you out here so please be safe as you travel around and remember to always take the scenic route and we look forward to seeing you bye bye